basketball fans are uh, going to be planning their trip to Spokane, Washington to watch the Boilers in action for the NCAA tournament. The game tickets are affordable, but the rest could cost you. Fans can get tickets for $65 at the Purdue Athletic Ticket Office, but as Tiffany Dismore reports, many students say they won't be making that trip to Washington. Flights to Spokane, Washington are over $700. That much money could pay for a semester of books for most students, which is why many are going to be watching the Boilers play Siena from the comfort of their couches. I wouldn't be able to afford to go. Um, that's why I'm just going to be watching it on TV. Um, there's no way that the students would be able to go that, especially just with the economy being so poor and, and the timing of everything. Even if times were better, people would probably be pretty hesitant to spend $700 to fly out and probably have to get a hotel and tickets to the game and things like that. You're looking at probably a $1,500 trip. People would probably spend two weeks in Mexico or something. Purdue students are on spring break this week, which could be why they chose to spend their money to go south instead of following the basketball team to Washington. Probably spring break as a big for the students. Um, and then, I mean, just for other people, it's probably just economy being so poor and this that's just a far way to travel for for a basketball game especially when you can just watch it on tv the timing that it's spring break a lot of students are out of town and plus with the injuries on the face of the team people are probably pretty worried about the outcome of the tournament i would imagine inside jackson oh, it goes. last season the purdue men's basketball team was in portland oregon for the ncaa tournament the Purdue Athletic Ticket Office sold 380 tickets to the first game. For Purdue's game against Siena, the Athletic Ticket Office has sold just over 300. Tickets are still on sale throughout the day tomorrow. Tiffany Dismore, News Channel 18.